Hello everyone, the easiest way to create great looking text is through the style palette. You start by creating a plain, ordinary looking text. From there, you can change the entirety of your text into the new style, or select a portion. You can also select individual letters, words, portions of words, virtually any combination that you choose to work with. The style palette makes changes to two-dimensional text different than three-dimensional extruded text. Two-dimensional text is basically flat text with a front side and a back side. Because of that, there are simulated extruded text among, amongst other things. I'm going to open the styles palette. When I open up this menu, there are literally 411 different preset styles of text that you can apply to two-dimensional text. You do have to actually make a few extra steps when working with extruded three-dimensional text, but the end result can be very rewarding. The first thing that I want to point out is that the text in Title Animations from the Boris Library can be changed as well. So what I'm going to do is quickly I'm going to select Boris Graffiti, that particular title track, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to double click on this to apply the new style. That's really all there is to applying a style. Okay, then we come up here to the window and we see that it's been applied but the text is too large. Well, what happened? Okay, now when you come down here into the style palette, all of these check boxes represent all the different attributes assigned to every individual style within the style palette. Their main purpose is actually creating text styles from scratch, but all you have to do is unselect the box marked for size and the style palette will no longer change the size of your text. So you always basically leave this unchecked, that will keep you out of trouble. The default setting of all these check boxes is all the check boxes are checked, so if you want to revert back, simply recheck size. With that problem resolved, I'm going to select the title animation track double click the font and the text actually is slightly smaller because we went from a, a bold text to a skinny text so in general you can still expect the text to change in size slightly but for the most part you won't have to do anything to compensate for the change but if you still want to adjust the size you can adjust the size of the text as you normally do within the text window so I'm just going to delete the title animation track because I don't need to use it any longer and I want to point out a couple of more things. Okay, very quickly for this particular text, I'm going to come up here to the text window. If I just select palette, I then come down, double click my text, change. Same thing, single letters, different text, boom, done. Here's your menu, there's a ton of choices. Select whatever you want, same thing, over and over again. You can't go wrong. Pretty simple, huh? Now, here's the next great way to use this thing. Okay, I'm going to select Palette, and I want to take this and I want to change the font. How do I do that? I have to come into the Styles Palette and select the Font tab. If you've never populated the Fonts window, this is what you will see. You will have no fonts to choose from. So what you have to do is select this icon up here. This will open up another menu over here in which you will need to create a category in order for the program to load fonts into your library. You can call the catalog anything you want. I'm going to name mine Load Fonts. This is just the way Graffiti is set up. As soon as I select OK, all the fonts that are on my computer are going to load into this window. Check this out. There we go. They're loading. Now this takes a little bit, but okay, I now have all these fonts to choose from. I can tell you that I have 293 fonts in my system. Depending on your computer will depend on how many fonts you have, but most of us have over 200 regardless of what computer you're running. So that's a pretty huge set of choices. There's a lot to go through. Okay, so you take the 411 styles of text that you've got times hundreds of fonts that you can apply to that style, and you could come up with so many different looks, it's almost unbelievable. So anyway, we now have palette selected up here. All we have to do is come down to the font window, double click, and a new font is applied. 
just that simple. You're experimenting with different fonts. A lot of fonts are similar. It's even possible to right click and delete very similar types to cut down on the number of fonts you have in your library. And this is like anything else. You could select all the text and with a couple of clicks change it all into a different font style. That pretty well covers fonts. Okay, I'm going to reset the entire text palette and then I'm going to come to color. Okay, color self-explanatory, selecting colors, changing colors. Doesn't take a lot to figure out what's going on there. Gradients, same thing. You've got an unbelievably nice sized collection of gradients to play with. Okay, from there you can select natural. Now natural has a wide variety of texture looks to apply is basically what you're doing. But you can't just double click on these and apply, it won't work. In order to work with these, what you have to do is go into your controls panel, come down here, create texture track. Once you click on that, a texture track is created and you have to spin open this text track in order to find your texture track. Once you found that, you have to come over here to where it says V1. You could actually install a movie file that will play inside your text, but it's pretty hard to see a movie inside of text unless it's very large and bold. There's also easier ways to accomplish something like that. You could apply a still image file, gradient, but you could already do that anyway. But here you select natural. Okay, once you've selected natural, it's going to come up to the default plywood looking natural, but you come over here to styles, reopen it. Now you can apply any one of these looks. And you can even from here go into your controls panel and change everything about all these particular styles. And that's kind of fun to do and you can come up with some pretty cool stuff, but when it comes right down to it, we've already looked at ways to create thousands of different looks and styles. And so this is going to pretty well conclude the 2D text. The splines are best used with 3D text extruded. Materials, same. This is the extrusion tab. You need 3D text to use these whatsoever anyway. So I'm going to conclude this particular tutorial. I was going to do it all as one tutorial, but you know what? There's so much information to cover in three-dimensional text as well, or extruded text, I should say. So I want to thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I really appreciate you guys tuning in, and I will go over extruded text in the very near future. Thanks a lot.